Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're gonna be looking at Ezra Bridger Lothal version from Ahsoka series. First we can take a look at the box, we see a nice artwork of the live action actor and then a short bio. On the side there is that same artwork again with City of Lothal in the back. Here is the front of the box and you can see that this is Star Wars Ahsoka. Ezra is number two in the line and so now let's take a look at our figure. Here is how the head sculpt looks. We have a darker skin tone, the eyes are painted really well, he has that lightsaber scar on the cheek, the hair is really nicely sculpted and then we have his chest armor, his shirt, the gloves and the belt with a hook or a lightsaber hilt and the belt is connected to these pouches which are then connected to his legs and the pants have a lot of sculpted wrinkles and then we have shins and the boots. It does look like there is a little bit of dry brushing on the shirt. There are kind of different tones of uh, orangish, reddish paint. And here on this armor part, you can see these silver dry brushings that should represent battle damage marks. This is practically Ezra's look from season three and four of uh, Rebels series. And this is actually the first time that we are getting him in live action, like a lot of other characters in this uh, Ahsoka series as well. I really like how this figure turned out. Let's now take a look at his accessories. He comes with his pistol blaster that kind of resembles Han Solo's blaster. We have two tones of grey here, darker tone and then a lighter tone for the top of the barrel. You can see that there are some nicely sculpted technical details there. The blaster does look really good. He also comes with his lightsaber and we have a nice translucent green blade up here and then the hilt that is from my understanding not the correct hilt from Rebels. This is maybe Sabine's modification. This upper part of the hilt shouldn't look like this it should be flat and you can see that there are some details that are not painted like this part here and this button that should be red. I still haven't received my Sabine figure from Ahsoka series so I can't compare at the moment but I assume that this is probably the same lightsaber that comes with Sabine. We'll have to wait and see and compare once when I get that Sabine but all in all it does look like a nice lightsaber and it will go great with this new Ezra. Let's now take a look at his articulation. The head is on a ball peg and it has a nice range of movement. He can look down this much, up this much, he can tilt side to side, there is a butterfly joint, arms move out this much, they rotate 360, there is no bicep swivel, elbow bends this much, trigger finger hand has up and down hinge for his blaster and the other hand has an in and out hinge. There is no uppercut for the torso but we have one down here behind the belt and so here you can rotate side to side, you even get a little bit of tilt. He can crunch forward this much, back this much, legs move out this much, forward this much, back this much. We have a tie swivel, single bend in the knee that gives us this much and it swivels. Feet move forward this much, back this much, we have an ankle pivot and peck holes at the bottom of his feet. Let's now compare Ezra with some other figures. Here he is with Star Wars The Black Series previous Ezra release from Star Wars Rebels and The Black Series Ahsoka Tano from Rebels. Here he is with The Black Series Zeb and The Black Series Chopper. Here he is with The Black Series Morgan Elsbeth and The Black Series Grand Admiral Thrawn. And finally here he is with The Black Series Din Djarin The Mandalorian Beskar version and live action Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian. So all in all I'm excited extremely satisfied with this new Ezra that we got. The likeness to the actor is there, it's a nice sculpt, we get two accessories that are essential for the character, the lightsaber hilt is not accurate but it is what it is, the pistol does look really good, there isn't much paint on the figure but it does look like there is maybe some dry brushing on it, the articulation is great, all in all I would say that this is really a great release. With this being Ezra Lothal version from Ahsoka Show, we will of course get more Ezra figures down the line because we still have to get the version of him as he looks like in the Ahsoka Show, not just
just from that hologram recording, but how he looks now at this moment in the show. And that's all I wanted to say for this video. But now I would really like to hear you guys. What do you think about this figure? Did you get it? Do you plan on getting him or not? Let me know down in the comments. Stay tuned for a posing video for this figure, which will be on the channel soon. Thank you all for watching and I'll see ya in the next video.